besides their abs and their straight up magical ability to set up your surround sound. I don't know how it works. Every guy is born knowing how to do that. I don't know, it's some type of black magic. Uh, no, it's their confidence. It's their amazing level of confidence. You can take the shortest, fattest, baldest, brokest dude, and he thinks he deserves a 10. Yeah, he feels entitled to a stunningly beautiful woman. And it's like, good for you, Quasimodo. Good for you. You go out there and you go get Heidi Clinton. What, why would Giselle want Tom Brady when she could be with your dumbass instead? Right? Yeah. The other day, a homeless man asked me out on a date. Yeah, that was super awesome. I was in a business suit and he thinks he's a catch. Where is he planning on taking me? I don't know, but that's confidence. I, I wish women were raised to have that insane level of confidence. We need to be like that. We need to, we start off with super high expectations. You think you're going to be married by the time you're 26, have kids by the time you're 28, living in a sweet house someplace great, right? And then you're like, okay, well, maybe not the house and the kids by then, um, but a husband would be good, right? That's what people do. They get married. And then you're like, you know what? I'm an independent woman. <laughs> to be happy, uh, but a boyfriend would be fun. How about that? How about just a boyfriend? And now it's like, I just don't want to get herpes. Hey, if I can make it through this life without getting herpes, then I fucking win, dude. I'm putting that in the win column. For those of you not laughing at that, I different message about STDs. It's always syphilis explosion. <laughs> California is number two in syphilis cases in the country. Uh, which begs the question, who's number one? <laughs> who's number one? Because we are the largest state and we are the most populated state. So statistically speaking, we absolutely should be number one. So I had to look this up because I needed to find out which state managed to outskank California. <laughs> and it turns out it's my home state of Florida. for totally different like, you know, reasons. Men don't want you to know just how gross and degrading the porn they're looking at is, right? Women don't want you to know how beautiful the things we're looking at are. Like a bunch of designer shit we can't afford. Or Benedict Cumberbatch in a tuxedo. Or uh, Michael Fassbender on a motorcycle smoking a cigarette. You know, I hate smoking, but I definitely want to lick Magneto's face, you guys. Or <laughs> Idris Elba. Doing anything, really. Brother with an accent. Hot. Yeah. Um, I think you can tell from my deleted browser history that the UK is getting it done in the lady boner department. <laughs> Step it up, America. Step it up, okay? Because your undeserved sense of confidence and your fucking fantasy football skills sucks a box of cocks. Yeah. Fantasy football. Look. It's fine if you want to have your sad little hobby where you pretend to be the owner of a football team because you work at the Gap in real life, okay? <laughs> but definitely don't talk to me about it, okay? Because when you start talking about dominating and fantasy football, I want to kill everyone in the room, all right? Yes, yes, that is, I'm sorry, that is not a real skill set. Do you know what my football fantasy is? It's that the players would stop cold cocking chicks in elevators. Or if Ben's serial rapist burger would finally get arrested. Yeah. When, uh, when that whole thing with Ray Rice went down in the elevator, uh, 
Ben Ravensburger, who's the quarterback for these Steelers, <laughs> said that he's not praying for Ray Rice. That's like Vladimir Putin running one of those against better campaigns for Ahmadinejad. No! So much childhood joy had passed away, you know. Robin Williams died, Joan Rivers died, and even worse, Dick Cheney's still alive. Yeah, so he's still chilling in his hidden evil secret lair, jerking off to ISIS videos. That's true. That's true. Dick Cheney can't come unless someone gets beheaded. That is a fact. You don't know that, but that's a fact. The Saw movies are romantic comedies. That's the point of time. He's not right in the head. But you guys are awesome. I'm Jen.